It was a while ago now since I made a poster on this channel. I've been just playing Splatoon 3 like everybody else. And I'm enjoying it a lot. Yes, the connectivity issues are annoying, and Nintendo's advice is flat out stupid. So I hope they fix it sooner rather than later, or at all. But if we don't count that, the game is great. I love the quality of life updates that makes it easier to play with your friends. And also so far I'm loving the bow, specifically the reflux. So I'm gonna try to get at least decent with it. And for story mode, I haven't even touched it yet. I've been busy with school, so I kind of forgot it existed. And also when I post this, the Splatfest is still probably going on, so I'll hop on that after I'm done. Anyway, back to the poster. To start things slowly after not having made one in a while, I made a lighting practice instead. It's still a Splatoon poster like normal, but I focus more on the lighting and editing. So as you'll see later, I didn't spend much time at all on the scene and posing, but whatever result I get, it'll help me with the lighting on bigger projects in the future. So for the lighting, I wanted a lot of light behind her, and not so much on her front side. But I had to keep in mind where the light comes from, it's not only directly from the sun. Light also bounces on the ground and wall, and reflections play a role as well. SFM doesn't do any of that for you, so you have to add all of that manually. I won't go too much into the details, because I'm still learning, I don't want to give bad advice. But one thing that is for certain is that if you want realistic lighting, you gotta keep in mind how light behaves in real life, and then use that logic in SFM. And another tip that I always do, if you're gonna edit a poster, it's better to underexpose it rather than overexposing. And why? If the highlights are blown out, you've already lost the detail there, which is very noticeable. But when you slightly underexpose it, you'll get more wiggle room in the editing. You might think that will mess up the shadows instead, which isn't wrong, but it's also not a big deal. It's way less noticeable than the highlights being flat. Plus some styles have their shadows flat, so if you're going for that, then underexposing is a no-brainer. But ideally, you wanna nail it from the beginning. And with that being said, it's time to edit the poster. Well, this is a problem. My computer crashed, so I think I lost the footage of uh, me editing. Come on. Okay. Yep, it got corrupted. God damn it! Well, this is great. My computer crashed, so I lost uh, the editing footage. So uh, I'm here right now, and I also lost some progress on the editing. But far from everything, as you can see, I already have a lot of editing done. But the recording is gone. It is corrupt. I'm just gonna keep going from here. <laughs> so that's too bad. Okay, it's finally done after a crash and not knowing how to do this. From the beginning, this was this was just for me to practice lighting, and the result isn't too bad. The scene and posing is kind of meh, but once again, the focus was lighting and editing, so I spent way more time on those two aspects and not the posing and the scene. But it came together quite nicely still, so it's nice that I finished it finally, so now I can happily go to sleep. <laughs> so if you want to see more Splatoon SFM, I have more videos on my channel, so check them out. And that's all I have to say, so thanks so much for watching, and bye!